Welcome back, welcome back, episode 173 of New Metal Podcast. Mark and Adam are here as usual, I am here too. Plenty to talk about, plenty of patch wish list items ahead of the new patch that hopefully will be out by the time we do next week's episode. That is the hope, and this week we'll be talking about games and other things, some content and some hopes, some hopes and dreams. Marco, welcome to the pod, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Are you really far away? Because it sounds like you're really far away. Am I really far away? I mean, <laughs> geographically? Is this any better? It's, it, it <laughs> sounds like you're 30 feet away from you. Yeah, it sounds like you're across the room. Uh, is it picking up the wrong mic? No. <laughs> Let's see. Well, wait, like, this is what you just investigated. Quick investigation. Oh, I think, I know, it's, okay, sorry. It's because you're hearing me through Discord, and my Discord is going to be the wrong mic. Oh, that's so, yeah. that's so disappointing. So the, the listeners, unless I do some shifty editing using Craig, our, our Discord bot, then the yeah. listeners aren't going, to, aren't going to be able to tell. Okay, there we go. Now we're in. Yeah, Audacity was correct, but yeah, Discord was not. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I might have to do some tinkering then, just but we'll see. Um, but yeah, how you doing? Welcome. Yeah, very good. Sad to be so geographically far away, but yeah, I am settled in my uh, chamber of nerdness. Nice, nice, nice. Adam, likewise, welcome to the pod. How you doing? Good, thank you for having me. Smile. That's right. How's how's Civ going? Yeah, got me away from my Maya game. Feels bad. Maya game? Trying... Well, yeah, it's the Civ I'm playing is the Maya Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm trying to win with off. some culture over here. <laughs> you know, Dota's are always domination built. Mm-hmm. The Civ, you get to win through other wholesome means like tourism. Nice, yeah. I'm jealous that you've still got room for like other games in your life. Every time I attempt, yeah. every time I'm like, oh wow, I'll, I'll play some Borderlands like Game of the Year edition or. I'll play some... I just look at some of the games I've got on my Steam. It's like, when am I ever going to be playing Fallout New Vegas? It's just not going to happen. <laughs> but I must have bought yeah. it for like pound fifty, some mega summer sale long ago. I mean, I never really get... The game has taken so long for me to play because about I get five turns in and I get invited to a Dota game. So, <laughs> Apart from this time where you got left behind. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, I bet, I guess I can get five turns of a Civ game in because these guys have left me behind. Yeah, yeah. I've, it's actually embarrassing. I've got four hours on Roller Coaster Tycoon Three. Do you remember when I just played a bit of Roller Coaster Tycoon Three for a bit uh, for four hours? Exactly. I remember getting some, <laughs> remember some some questionable messages when there was Dota games going on. I was like, no, yeah. no, 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 just building, just building a a clunky roller coaster from two thousand five or whenever this game came out. And four hours later, you, you just said, "Yep." I have played this game. Yeah. I've that was worth it the, never again. Yeah. That was worth the 15 quid I just spent on it. In, in my mind, I was like, oh man, I'll we'll play this all the time to relax away from Dota. And then in reality, it's like, nope. What you'll do to relax in Dota is to play unranked instead of ranked. That's, uh, that's about all there is. There's nothing else for you. I've got a respectable time played on City Skyline, I think, like 80 hours or something. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. So, games or content or things before we get to patch wish list. How's the Dota been for you, Marco? I'll do the content. Big um, in the realm of being a nerd, the big life event of upgrade is maybe too much stronger word, but replacing my main monitor. Wow! As of today, so actual new hardware. It's new hardware, which is a significant moment in one's life. It's all, it's also significant given the context of the monitor being replaced. I don't know if I've mentioned the grand story of the birth of this monitor. Mm. You, you you know the story, Stan. I don't. I don't. Know I if think Adam, I know. 
I know the start of the. St- I know, yeah, yeah. I know the story. Sorry, go on. I don't even. Know, I don't even know if Adam. Surely he's heard it at some point. Listen, what happened? So I mean, this this one is eight years old. So in the context of someone who like playing computer games, working at home all this time, it's kind of crazy ancient. that I've had this ancient monitor. Yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm substituting or relegating it to secondary monitor, and I've just bought another monitor which is like an inch or half an inch wider so it's it's still basic it i got a good employee discount and all this it's nothing fancy but mm-hmm. obviously is not eight years out of date you didn't but, go ultra wide i'm disappointed n- no nah, i'm a modest i'm a modest he doesn't want to get a vac ban <laughs> yeah it's they can't they can't check your hardware bro <laughs> they, get back, they can get check back the re- monitor. they can check the reports i've sent them that's for sure um still can't waiting check for your you. hardware we get a knock on the door from a valve employee they put <laughs> yeah. a ruler like this is out this is out of order get back then <laughs> oh. so yeah it, it's modest size it, um so i'm gonna have to get used to it and all that jazz but anyway the, the secondary monitor now i mean absolute relic the birth of this is from a 1v1 mid in Dota 2 like eight years ago. So I think I was playing Puck. I can't remember what this other guy was playing, but I think I played Puck in the 1v1. So it started off as just a pub 5v5. So I'm I'm like a late teen at this, at this point in college, studying A-levels. And this toxic guy in the enemy team is going mental all game, loses, and we were both mid, and all this flame, all chat, that Adam's all too familiar with all this kind of toxic all chat flame going on. And this is just in a regular pub. Regular pub, right, yeah, yeah, unranked. Um, and it was a party. I think there's a, f- a few of us playing, like Brother Joe. And th- towards the end, this guy's like one v one me. Like, let's do it. One v one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw you. I'm gonna wreck you. Like, who do you think you are? And all this big talk. So I'm <laughs> like, well, yeah, let's go one v one. But then he starts upping the stakes, and he's like, one v one, hundred dollars give me a PayPal, let's do $100, let's go. And I'm like, well, this is a bit weird, bit sketch, but all right, let's go into a, a lobby after the game, 1v1. <laughs> this guy's like complete kind of wacko. Like, he's been popping off all this time, like just toxic. All right, I'm going to slay you, but here's the terms, $100. So we do a 1v1 mid. I, I think I'm Puck, probably I'm Puck, and I can't remember who who he is. Um, I guess, say like a SF, maybe, can't remember, but we do this 1v1, school him. And then he kind of flips 118 to become this like pure PMA guy where he's like suddenly starts being normal and kind of speaking normal and talking normally and isn't now like mental. But then he's like, all right, well, give us your PayPal. And I'm just kind of a bit confused, like, oh, I'm going to get scammed or something. Like, what's going yeah. on? Joe's like, oh, what's going on? But then he's like, all right, let's just make a new... F- somewhat fresh paypals i don't have paypals right let's just make something and like hey here's my details and then literally i don't know that day or the next day i get like 90 quid sent to me from this guy literally literally keeps his word and so in these days of like you're in college it's like crazy ton of money how do i spend this and so professional gamer i actually upgrade from what was at the time also another relic (laughs) The square monitor. The infamous square monitor. <laughs> the infamous square monitor that I oh, played, dear. what, Masters Starcraft 2 on. Imagine if I had yeah. a wide monitor. I'd be top 16 GM Heart of the Swarm beta. Know, yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> we achieved that on a square monitor. <laughs> a monitor. <laughs> I'm, like a, I'm like a 50p mouse as well. <laughs> yeah. Literally, Honestly, your hardware is like it's so. It, back five, in the day, your hardware was Marco is this is gamer gravity. on a budget. This is, <laughs> it's gravity chamber kind of training. It's a five pound Logitech square monitor. And that's how you get out of Herald. I got you a ma- I got you like a Kerrigan, Kerrigan mouse, mouse, just mouse like out of sympathy. Well. Like, yeah, to, that's it. Well. Something needs to be uh, something so needs I, to be uh, market. The, the upgrade from the square monitor to what at the time was a pretty sleek, like hundred quid Samsung rectangular monitor was literally funded from this random guy. Uh, losing a 1v1 and had that bad boy for the following yeah. eight years. If you're listening to this and you ever, you know, went went crazy and challenged <laughs> yeah. a random, you know, puck to a 1v1 and sent him $100, maybe you were drunk or something, get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, yeah, kind of a 
fantastic backstory and now it's a secondary monitor so i'm not throwing it not throwing it out just yet it's gonna be with me still but yeah on the sideline what a guy what a story what a guy it's weird as well because it's like from his perspective surely he knows that there's a zero percent chance that like you're gonna give him a hundred quid if you lose yeah, do you know what i mean honestly i think he could have even been like i will give you a hundred quid oh, if, just, if you right, win right. I, I, like so, yeah. I, I I never said, "Oh, I'll do anything." Mm-hmm. I think it was That's literally lose, just lose. him. Yeah, he being threw like, himself into the lose lose because of his his like ego. He was just mental. He was going mental, like all chat mental kind of description. And mm-hmm. yeah, I will give you a hundred dollars if you win. All right, let's go, bro. Love a one v one. Couldn't ask for anything more. And then he literally follows through. But then, he, oh yeah, he flipped into non mental. It was just so bizarre. But you follows earned his through. Respect. Yeah, earned his respect. It's all about the one v one. Nice man. So the 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 lesson to take away is if anyone ever challenges you to one v one, you don't back down because you never know what might come out of it. Mm-hmm. So you're one you're one one in important one v one. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I've been a disgraced one v one land choke. The one v one land choke <laughs> against that guy oh. that was the the best SF in the building. Oh, the oh so sad. He's like legend SF, just booming everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah. It's so funny at lands because uh, this sounds basically obviously the average Dota player is what Ar- some Archon or something. Mm-hmm. So when you go to lands, there's just and you play in one of the computer setups that they have. It's it is like sometimes it's like smurfing. It reminds me of yeah. when me and you played that two v two as like yeah. Tusk Wind Ranger, and yeah. I was Wind Ranger just doing power shots, just a random skill shot, just throwing them out, and occasionally you know get a kill, and the crowd are like, "Whoa, whoa, like, whoa so cool!" And you just feel like you just feel like a boss <laughs> when not you know a hundred meters away from you, there's a big stage of people that could literally like. With their eyes closed, yeah. beat you in a one v one mid. <laughs> it's like people are actually giving you some props for what's happening here. Oh, those those are yeah, they're the the funnest when they've got setups like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun, and usually, or at least where this happened, the two v two, it was in Poland, so they had all of the it was all all the settings were in Polish, mm. and and they were really weird settings. All the controls, it, what my computer wasn't Q W E R. And I was like frantically trying to redo hotkeys to normal in Polish while the game was getting ready. The weird, bizarre one v two v two mid turbo, where the game doesn't end when you kill their tier one. You've got to kill their throne. <laughs> yes, we just like, pummel, pummel them for about twenty minutes. Know, just... yeah. <laughs> Such a bizarre setup. But there you go. Wow, good memories. Make some more in uh, Stockholm, mate. Hey, there you go. Yeah, Stockholm may get. Let us know on the Discord if you're going. We're, we're probably going to be there. Tickets are out tomorrow, so we'll see about that. But I think that's the plan. Wave Other the flag. Than, yeah, wave the flag. Yeah, get the t-shirts out. Yeah. Um. Poor Adam, too far away, too geographically Des- distant. Yeah, destroyed by geography. I yeah. hope. I hope Ti this year. That's the hope. But there's no telling where it will be. Do you not think that they'll try and do it in Stockholm, given that that's where it was meant to be? My hope is that they do it in the US because Key Arena has been renovated. But ah, interesting. You never, cause, and it's been a little while since they've, you know, had it here. But mm-hmm. I mean, maybe they, I don't. They might not be too happy with Sweden after what happened. Yeah. Last time. Yeah, I agree. I. I was about to say, I I wonder if they'll think, let's just do it in our backyard because it was such a mess last time and we feel like we got, they didn't keep their word sort of thing. So let's just do it where we know it works. So, And then you can come to me. Yeah, man. That'll be very fun. Um, Games then. Stories and games. Adam, how's, uh, how's Dota been for you this week? I don't, it seems okay. Yeah, I'm trying to look. The last couple of days was maybe not not the best, but there were some pretty fun games interspersed. I uh, got to play four Drow Ranger mm-hmm. and one, 
So it's one and oh, the new OP build. Marco isn't privy to it because it was banned in the one game we played together after I theory crafted it and busted it out. Oh, so this is a pick. This wasn't like a random gone wrong. This is like I'm playing four trail. Oh no! I first phased it and, and told my, t- my team was I'm <laughs> I'm playing four, and I went three eight and twenty eight. So that's success right there. That's the perfect Adam Dota two scoreline. <laughs> yeah, Gust Gust two goods. Gust two good. Orb walking frost arrows in a lane against two melee heroes too good. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Marksmanship. You laugh. Right? I was I was solo zoning an Ursa and a Spirit Breaker while my CK just farmed creeps because they're just like I'm too slow. I can't get to the creeps. Why does this guy get the do? He's not even trying to go for last hits. And then they're like, Oh my god, he's not even <laughs> trying to go for last. Hits. <laughs> he's solely existing just to s- slow me. Yeah. Uh, Bassy for sustain. Earn for <laughs> some sustain and damage. For mm-hmm. staff. Sounds like you figure figured out. Gust talent. For staff for like getting your cores to chase and to get away. Get the hyperthermia shard at um, 20 because it's still really, really good. And it's mm-hmm. kind of like a mini Scotty, right? Or like a you know turn off region type of thing, mm-hmm. and then and big wave push and then a BKB. There you go. That's the build. Interesting. Undefeated. Um, I do I do think the orb walking in the lane. Yeah, that's no joke. You do see heroes. Reminds me a bit of Viper. That ability to orb walk is can turn cause into support sometimes. The famous Viper Five that was back in the day. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. It's a pretty. I mean, it was it was fun, at least. Uh, the gust, yeah. The, I think the support you do have at least a little bit of utility in that the gust has three talents, so mm-hmm. it becomes a six second silence with a fifty percent blind. Fifteen, it makes it really wide, and then twenty brings down the cool. I think it's under ten seconds cooldown, maybe nine seconds or something for a. Yes, nine seconds. Six second, yeah. yeah, so... And it pushes away, too, so they have a Spirit Breaker, and you're just like, Gust. Or an Ursa, and you're just like, Gust. And then you keep pelting him with Frost Arrows, and he's like, I can't move! <laughs> so, mm-hmm. it worked one game. That's all That's all I needed, too. Proof of concept. Got me some points on the Drow Arcana Progress. And, yeah. and now I get to say that it's a legitimate four. Nice. Um, in terms of my games this week, I haven't got a ton to report. Beyond that, a mix-up at work, or not a mix-up, but a misunderstanding on my part about when my annual leave resets has resulted in me having to take seven working days in a row off, next, including all of next week. Which begs the question, are you going to smash out some round Dota 2? And I think the answer to the question currently, and, until I plan otherwise, um, I have to think about some some other things to do, but until I plan otherwise, definitely some round Dota is going to come out, some solo queue, uh, as long as my sort of mental health can sustain. Which also begs the question, will you climb? Will you... Will you uh, shoot up into the echelons of Divine? Will you surpass Divine 2, the peak? Or will you go the other way and will you, you know, cl- you know, grasp back into your past legend experiences and, you know, plummet through the ancient bracket? We'll have to see about that. Yeah, that's just the real thing is 10 days from now, are you going to be Ancient 3 or are you going to be <laughs> Divine, Divine 4? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it genuinely yeah. could go either way. Yeah, it's all about the it's all about the hero picks. The, the ability is in there. It's all about the hero picks. Do so you want to play the, the if same he two heroes, to green for heroes for ten days? Green color scheme heroes. He will be divine three. If he yeah. strays from the path and it's like, yeah. Ooh, I'm going to throw out a little bit of a quap or a storm or maybe what I'll about, try a what tinker. About, what about tinker, Adam? You don't think the tinker? You think the tinker loses MMR? Yeah. Um, oh, 
three you zero had today. Well played, played it in a ranked game. But I will say, I after today's performance, I don't know if I can flame the the pick anymore. Oh, that's great to hear. I've had I'm three zero tinker today, Marco. We've got got in some a couple of the game I just played was a bit bad. I had a couple of bad deaths. There weren't anything to do with tinker, but it's like me being a bit stupid with my positioning. And one of those was like, oh, I could die here, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then mm. I died. Yeah. Um, but the well, in two my game, you were before, 21, 2, and 20. So that's... Yeah, that was a good game. That's a that's Smurf level tinker. Yeah, that, that was a good game. And the game that I had before, which I think I was just solo, unranked, I believe, was another really good, really good tinker game. I've landed on a build that I really, really like, which is obviously the no boots, don't need boots, and just Sol Ring Blink, Ags, SMY Hex, and the SMY, sorry, not SMY, Kaya Sanj. So the the Kaya Sanj, I sort of overlooked this item a lot, but 16% spell amp, when you've got, oh, what's this? Craig leaving. We don't need him. Um, when you've got sixteen percent spell amp from SM, uh, from Kaya Sanj, you've also got your talent, which I believe is ten spell amp at twenty. Um, and if you get an item like the trinket or the one that makes you lose armor that I can't remember the name of that gives you spell damage, with your ags, holy smokes, you are, you do half the HP of an enemy with one with rocket laser. It's absolutely nutty. And I'll add also that um, BKB, if and when you need it. So in the, in the game with Adam, I went um, uh, BKB after the Kaya Sanj and then Hex after that. Or actually, I think I might have even gone Blink Ags BKB or something because um, I was against Zeus and stuff. But it feel, feels Blink, really good. Blink Ags, SNY, BKB, Hex. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mate, yeah, mate, timeless so. Relic. Yeah, Timeless Relic. Yeah, I really like it. I think the thing with Tinker is that you just need to have good timings. If you get wrecked in the lane, and if you have a bad lane, and you don't farm up to that blink and beyond well, you're not going to have a good time. Um, and I feel like I've... that was working out well today, at least. So I probably will tank at least 60 MMR on Tinker, because I think I will <laughs> try it. I am yeah. going to try it twice in ranked. And if I lose both <laughs> games, then I'll call it a day and pick Viper again. But if yeah. I don't, if I win some, I'll just be like, I'll ride it until I start losing some. Um, well, who are I, your, you need your a, green heroes? you got your nine. Necro, your Viper. Mm. My what Necro's else? so bad, though. My Necro is... I don't Maybe feel confident on Necro. It does sometimes win, yeah. I have had a, some memorable Necro games. My, my heroes are basically Viper and TA, I feel like, in terms of if I'm like trying to sweat out a win in rounds. It's Viper, and then it, it's TA. That's basically it. Uh, Lena, kind of, but I feel like my Lena's not got quite at the same level. TA is just a snoozy win sometimes. You just farm really heavily and you just win. Um... But yeah, no, I'm not about that this time. If I'm, if I'm certainly if I win some games, you know, if I get a bit of a cushion, then I'm definitely flying in some storm and some co-op and some tinker. Oh, um, you want to, if you get a cushion, you don't want to push you just throw it away. That's that's what it is. Uh, he doesn't want to see the number stay up there. He wants to zigzag it. Um, one thing I do want to do that I won't do is play a huskar. The Huskar will stay in the box for now. Yeah. Um, because I'm too bad at the hero. But I used to play a lot of Puck in ranked. I was climbing on Puck for a while, but that was back when Puck was OP. Really, really strong. Sniper, another free win hero. You just win if you pick Sniper in my MMR bracket in ranked, I really feel like. Anyway, these are all stories for another day. And besides, none of this matters anyway because there'll be a patch like halfway through next week or whatever. It'll jeopardize all my plans. You gotta uh, find the OP thing. Mm-hmm. Spam the new hero, maybe if there is one. Let's not get our hopes up. Speaking of the new patch, then some wish list items, some things we're we're hoping for. Um, I've been thinking a little bit about 
maybe some general changes but also heroes that i think need to be nerfed or buffed and some shards and some items i think are good or strong um adam what's your anything that comes to mind immediately when you think of the new patch you think you're hoping for um as much as i hate to say it because i used to love to play it much as the chagrin of mike um mike marco uh it would be weaver four it's gotta go yeah it's gotta go it was my oh, thing that triggers it was my my niche fun thing and marco <laughs> hated it and i would win with it and now it's good and people it's too good the bug's too good yeah the bugs are too good and Sakuchi means the hero is so you don't need the boots to kill need to use the sentries like you don't mm-hmm. I mean maybe if you just you can buy more sentries at the beginning of the game like maybe that's fine but you can't deward the camps and protect against Sakuchi later stage of the game you got to bug on you that takes like eight hits to kill mm-hmm. if you have no attack speed you have no, then you're like gonna have no armor and then you can transition to damage or you just are time lapse god so mm-hmm. i think that is yeah. the the one of the top complaints certainly in higher mmr is the weaver four i don't think you see it i think as you go lower you see it less and less it's but certainly so in the high games it's Really good. And such a feels bad because I think the other thing, and it's not, I mean, maybe it's not as popular as it was at another time during the patch, but another one of my heroes, Spirit Breaker, Mm -hmm. might need to have some things changed around because he just, I don't know. The hero is so nice. Why is his Q like, why is he one shotting waves with his Q? Like, it's so much damage. And then. It's like on an eight second or nine second cooldown, and he's across the map yep. at a hundred move, like a like a thousand move speed, and then he ults you, and he has BKB, and he's got eighty percent static or status resist, and then mm-hmm. he charges everybody again, and he's like a wave clear machine. He's all over the map. It's like he's more mobile than Nature's Prophet. It's crazy. <laughs> the fact that you can clear waves and farm with mm-hmm. charge is kind of ridiculous because you. Spirit Breaker is not meant to be a hero that farms and can clear waves. That's meant to be one of his weaknesses, I'm sure. I don't. But like, now it just the, feels like the, he doesn't, doesn't care. The item, Kaya, Kaya Yasha, was not designed with Spirit Breaker in mind. It was not made for Spirit Breaker, and yet he is like the only person that builds it. For the most mm-hmm. part, I, I don't know if I can think of a. I mean, I was building it in an Ags lab, but like. Kaya I don't Yasha. think, it, yeah. yeah, I don't know of any other heroes that go like Kaya OD? Yasha OD on like the any amount of uh, any amount of like regularity because yeah. I feel like they can also go Kaya Sanj on that hero, but mm. it's like no, I want move speed, and since my magic damage scales off my move speed and it gets buffed by being magic damage from the Kaya, like it's the perfect item also some attack speed for when you try to bash it's yeah it gave in or ice frog never intended you know mm-hmm. so that seemed but it's like less popular i think um i think quap's another really good hero but that yeah. gets into the shard stuff so maybe mm-hmm. we wait on that because that's most of the problem i have with that hero i think yeah yeah that's fair I mean, I have to agree with the Spirit Raker shout as well. This hero is the most, one of the most triggering heroes to play against for me, especially because I play a bit of mid. And when you're playing a sort of glass cannony kind of mid, and the second you show you're going to be charged, and you're just like, oh yeah, I forgot Spirit Raker exists in this game. Now I'm just dead in a situation no, where no, no Mr. Cal. Yeah. Like 900 yeah. HP and five armor. He's like, I'm going to tank 12 tier one tower shots while I hit you. Mm-hmm. And the mid is just going to, you know, mow you down. Yeah. And realistically, this is why I will, despite crushing games today, this is why I'll lose if I pick Tinker in ranked. Because someone on the enemy team will just pick Spirit Breaker because it's OP. 
charge me and I'll die and then that'll be the end of it and then I'll be minus 30 and I'll be like oh yeah that's why I play Viper every game if I want to win um, yeah it's so like yeah, the one game you played today nice things. <laughs> they mid they mid Zeus and he's like ah oh, Zeus is a counter and you played around that because you can position and buy a BKB and yada 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 can't buy BKB can you, versus, can you, put, yeah. can you do anything against a spirit breaker he presses the Q button and then he just runs at you. And it doesn't matter if you're BKB. Twice, yeah. It doesn't matter anything. He just doesn't care. And if you laser him, he's like, well, I'll just nether strike you. Yeah. Or it, or the laser will last 0.3 seconds because I have 80% status for this. So, yeah. yeah. Fun hero. Um, Mark, is there any changes you want to see? Um, either hero-wise, item-wise, or just... General gameplay, you know, general changes. Yeah, so gameplay I'm pretty happy with. If I'm thinking about Hero, and this is inspired from a recent Discord conversation, I would love Brewmaster to get rid of Cinderbrew and to be reworked. The because, w? Yeah, I'm just, I want I want Brew to come back. And I want to play it in the safe lane, which is sure not what it's ever going to be. But ever since Cinderbrew's come in, like, five years ago I've just never bothered with this hero and I feel like it's a crap spell if I'm honest well, what version do you want do you want the original just, where you're like throwing the single target um mischance and slow just, wasn't that I what that need, did maybe just give us a new spell I mean Cinderbrew is a new spell there's AOE alcohol ignition some damage some movement slow like whatever Hello? Yeah, hello. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Adam, str- hello. Adam Strickland. Um, <laughs> hello, <laughs> Brewmaster. <laughs> I got like uh, five thousand milliseconds there for, or like ping. I'm back. It's Adam's. Okay. Um, oh, it's real. My bad. Adam's Can you hear in, me? It's from the hospital visit. Oh, just, oh yeah, he's, <laughs> he's drunk. He's legally drunk for the rest of the day. That's why. Yeah. That's what's going on. <laughs> Um, but I mean, just give me a new Can spell. You hear me? So, Cinder Brew, I mean, you get mega brownie points if you even know what it does. <laughs> Effectively, yeah, it's true. some. You have to damage someone with, uh, mag- with spell damage for them to even be ignited. And once ignited, you take damage up 300, whatever, and movement speed slow. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you ha- they have to take spell damage in order for those effects to happen. So that's just... Uh, it feels like such a shaft for no reason. Like, even without that, it's not like the spell's broken. 300 damage and movement slow over five seconds. I mean, okay. So anyway, I'd love to get- see a different spell to make Brew something. I feel mm-hmm. like it's always going to be awkward that his ultimate is... It's X-Factor and it's... it's obviously, a lot of heroes... Are orientated around their ultimate ability naturally, mm-hmm. but I would like Brewmaster to not be such a gimmick in that regard. They need to change his ags if they want him to not just be. Uh, an I can't be asked playing a hero that has to get ags to be relevant. That, I know that yeah. winds me up as well. But and also, not only does he have to get ags to be relevant, it also just means that the hero is nothing outside his ult because you're building a your biggest item, your your you know the item that is the crux of your build. Just means that you ult twice, so you're just even yeah. more of an ult, and that's it. And it even you know there's a problem when brewmasters are buying shard because it's the only item that further buffs their ult pretty much, and it's so bad. Void like, brooding, the void brooding is so bad. I honestly feel like it's terrible. <laughs> Applies no slow and it. disarm for two point five seconds. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'd anyway. like the hero to be relevant outside alt. Yeah, well, <coughs> you can keep dreaming because I don't think they're going to change Brewmaster Ags, but maybe, or well, maybe they just need to make it so you don't have to build it, make the hero strong in other ways. Well, I am going to be playing it in a party game near coming to you soon. Cool, that's for sure, uh, because that um, I think when it first came out and it's. Drunkern Brawler wasn't balanced. There were I remember seeing some videos where it was they were going mental with Master like, Madness, Drunken Brawler, smacking crits or something like this. Mm-hmm. So that spell does have 
potential for you to go somewhat Rambo. So I, I'd be keen to build it with maybe a Radiance, um, like Rady BKB or something. The Basher attack speed builds fun. The Basher, yeah, because he's the... got a he's got a pretty good animation, so he can just he can kind of go like whap whap whap. Do you get a Mask of Madness to get attack speed? Uh, I think it's just like the AC stuff. It's just AC, yeah. And then, then like Moon Shard. I mean, if, this is a meme build. This isn't good. This isn't winning TI. But there this needs to be a way. Because like, Panda you know the... Build. What is the auras persist on the Earth yeah. Panda? And the Earth Panda does lots of damage to towers. So... If you can have like an AC and you can deal more damage to the towers that way. Uh, if you have big damage, that could be good. But before I cut out, how did you want the W to be? Did you like the old version? I or mean, was just you I, threw it on a single target and it was mischance. I honestly preferred that to this weird gimmick version of you need to use spell damage to activate ignition, which is damage and slow. It was even dumber when it had to be fire damage. That, that was, was so weird. I, yeah, yeah I mean, was, what is that? Like we Pokemon now. Pokemon, yeah. Like, well, there's no, I can't. There can't be many just, cells where you use it, and I, in isolation, it's useless. So maybe you could say that about Batrider with its oh sticky napalm. But oh, aside from sticky napalm, how useless could a single spell be? Literally useless without then a follow up. Spell yeah, damage. you're just like, oh man, I don't have Alina or Jakiro on my team. I guess this spell <laughs> doesn't work. It's yeah. Like, what? I think yeah, it might have that. counted imagine... your Q. Like your well, Q yeah. would ignite it, but like, who? I mean, that's dumb. It limits it's... the play pattern of how you have to use the spell. Yeah, so you're saying you, I have to always press W then Q, and if 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 my Q's not available, then I've got a useless spell. Mm-hmm. Come on. Imagine that, like at TI, if it's like a team picks. Uh, brewmaster and then they're like oh shit I need to ban all the fire heroes I ban <laughs> Lina ban the, the phoenix whatever yeah that really would be Pokemon those two Pokemon so yeah I, I prefer the old version where you kind of yeah make someone miss and in that way at least it's not a gimmick and for weird way to work <laughs> it's, it just works and then it's useful I don't, I don't even think the move slow and damage is useful you're already slowing people 55% with Thunderclap, so why do I need another slow spell? And then damage, like, my Q does damage and my E does, makes me buff, like, well, I don't, we don't need an extra bit of brew damage. So it just feels misplaced, like, it doesn't need this Cinderbrew spell. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, or I was going to ask you what you thought of the carry pool and whether or not there are certain carry heroes that you want to be stronger or weaker, but having to th- think about it myself, I actually am not sure there's much that can be said negatively about the the carry pool. Sure, some heroes, maybe like Juggernaut and Spectre, are quite weak, Slark. But I feel like there's a fair bit of variety. You've got Wraith Kings and PLs and Drows, Faceless Voids, yeah. even, some, even a little bit of Anti-Mage, PAs, Playable... Sven's playable, Lifesteed is playable, Clinks yeah. is playable. You know, you see these heroes in the in high rank games. So I don't think it's I don't think it's so bad, actually. I think a lot of the a lot of the positions have variety other than Pos Four, where it's like Weaver and Spirit Breaker and Marcy every game. Um, I think that is the that's the position where there needs to be maybe most most touch ups. Um. In terms of any general changes, are we expecting changes to the map? Are we going to be suddenly playing for Roche Bottom or something weird? Or or are we going to be disappointed there again? I don't know. I feel like that Roche change doesn't need to happen. Mm-hmm. And I think map you could change, change will happen. Map Roche else. change will not happen. Yeah, because you can change the map and it it just mixes things up for the sake of mixing things up. I think that's yeah. fine. But I think the Roche one is... Cancer, yeah. oh, I God, think there'll yeah. be a new objective of some... Like, out like the uh, outpost change or something. What's it gonna be like? Gold. Oh, I don't. Or what am I? <laughs> what do I think it's gonna be? I have no idea, like, uh, but I don't think it's gonna stay the same. 
got to play a mini game. You got to play one yeah. of the like Ag's Labyrinth mini games like once every yeah. five minutes. If you control the outpost, one of your team like gets sucked into a weird like mini game. Dance, involved. dance, revolution, mini time or quick time event where you have to press the arrow keys correctly and then yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> A bit all like quick trivia. Two of your heroes run into like a quasi Roche pit, and after whichever one gets the trivia first, he gets like a hundred gold each for the team. Yeah. Oh, it's always annoying when you have to get used to new map changes. All the weird high grounds and new new high grounds and new um, camps and all the rest ward of it. New pool timings, and stuff. ward spots. Yeah. They have made some big high ground changes over time. I remember when. Or maybe we're still living in this world, but when they made the area around towers way wider, oh yeah, that was so that the lanes are really were really they didn't used to be so wide, and now the lanes are really wide. And it's remember, like the ramp in mid that used to be, I'm pretty sure, far smaller. Mm, yeah, I think so. And I think a big change that we overlook now, or not overlook, but we don't think about anymore, is the TP, the range of around a yes. tower you can tp to it used to yeah. be really tight whereas now you can tp anywhere around a tower you can tp like deep into trees like around a, your tier one tower it didn't used to be the case um so yeah some interesting oh, changes and then like that. a similar one to that is how tps would break trees when you land and then it oh, changed to it won't so now so you can tp into a tree and be hidden and that yeah then opens up those play potential Mm-hmm. which is cool yeah in terms of items then uh, that we think might need to be changed shards that are strong man there are some bonkers shards out there in my opinion there are some bonkers shards I mean Adam mentioned one earlier which is the quop shard do you think that the quop shard needs to be toned down or do you think it just needs to go and we need a new shard anyone oh uh, well, i don't know i just think it's so frustrating to play against it's basically just void spirit ags yeah yeah on a lower cooldown, and mm. i mean it's, all, the, it's like yeah. where she it's where on when she's leaving and where she's going so i don't know i don't like it yeah and also um and also it means you nuke waves instantly. You know, you just blinky, the wave's dead instantly. And Quop of all heroes doesn't need more damage. Even more Kai Assange. Yes. Yeah, just, just more damage. It's kind of nuts. Like an extra 200 damage, say, if you have a Kaya. On top of all the other burst is kind of nutty. If it didn't silence... I mean, then you, then you probably wouldn't buy it. But, like, that's the frustrating part of it. Mm-hmm. I don't care about... I mean, damage is damage, but it prevents supports from, like, doing things. And means that they can't... They don't. Oh, I don't have to buy a BKB or a Yules or a defensive item because I already have this, like, utility built in. They're going to be silent, so they can't do anything. Yeah. Quop is probably the strongest mid, I think. Most... most- top players would agree it's also really really fun to play if you go you know treads orchid bkb hex shard refresher if you ever get refresher in that situation it's i did it the other day it's so much fun i had x machina and refresher in like an hour long games blink bkb hex orchid alt refresh Alt again. You're just screaming all, all over the place. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. So many buttons, so much fun. Um, yeah, Queen of Pains. A bit nutty. The shards a bit nutty. I I would say that I think uh, Wind Ranger has one of the most ridiculous shards. I love that one though. It it's absolutely nuts. Gale it doesn't Force do damage. So it's so strong. It doesn't do any damage. It's totally okay. <laughs> It's global and it's like any slow or disable on an enemy and with Gale Force on top and you just it's it's unbelievable. Seeing it in pro games, I feel like if Wind Ranger wasn't such a bad hero, then I feel like it would be more prominent. Yeah. So I am a bit I miss, worried. Uh, like it's so good and I really love it. But I also really miss the other one. 
where she had global power shot and it basically made her AA. Like, I really liked that one too. Oh, that was so funny, the global power shot. Yeah. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that's such a weird one, yeah. Um, I think it makes more sense, yeah. like, lore-wise. is like now she just all of a sudden makes a big wind. You know, yeah. like, she already had power shots. So I was like, oh, yeah, she can shoot it really far. And now it's just, I do wind circle things from... <laughs> 12 screens away yeah i'm zeus now towards me yeah yeah so bizarre and i'm sort of worried if wind ranger gets subtle buffs or even just doesn't change that much but becomes stronger in the meta then oh my god it's going to be so abusive if there's wind rangers in your games a lot which there already are if you're a lower if in you know the lower in mmr you are but oof, i do not want to play against gale force i really really don't because i find things absolutely nutty yeah i'm like they added two things like that in the last patch or so they added the enigma shard that yoinks people in and then mm. the gale force like i really don't like this um like it pulls you in but you can still like walk yeah it's so weird like you're you're going back at 175 but you're moving forward at your move speed and like you can't get out of it but you're not stunned it's yeah, kind of weird I, like i'm not the biggest fan of the mechanic yeah I don't like it either as well because with either the black hole or the gale force, any sort of mini stun or any sort of mini disable, and suddenly you're lassoed. You're yeah, you're lassoed, or you're just black holed, even though you're miles away from it. It and that just seems too abusive to me, or just too weird and bad. Yeah, they um, should totally add it to Chronosphere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine that sucked into a Chrono or something. Or like Troll Warlords, just Battle Trance <laughs> sucking you in towards him. Yeah. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah. Um, Marco, is there any items, shards or otherwise, that you want to see changed? Or any items that, you know, buffed or nerfed or anything like that? Controversial opinion. Oof. Ag shard removed from the game, smiley face. No, see, I was going to say we got uh, the we got the Ag Scepter, we got the Ag Shard, so we need an Ag's Fragment that costs <laughs> seven hundred that you can buy it. Oh, yeah, you can buy it ten. Yeah, and I'm not sure what it would do, <laughs> but spells. we need Ag's Fragments for every hero. Imagine that you open the patch <laughs> and the the top item is Ag's Fragment added for a hundred and forty, and it drop and then we'll drop with with first rush too because it's a fragment. Yes. So now we have extra thing for the first rush. And if uh, you if you control the new outpost for ten minutes, then it drops. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you have an ags fragment and you take it to the outpost and plant it, it will grow an ags tree. And then at twenty five it'll drop an ag uh scepter. Like a mango tree would. Oh, Remember, mango like tree. bad neutral item. Wow. Yeah. Mango tree for vision, that was that was where it was at Oof. back in the day. Mango tree right behind your ancient, and you just have the game went in, and there's a thousand mangoes on the floor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That I yeah. if they added ag shard or ag's fragment, I would be very I upset. Would, yeah, they, I, I'd be very upset. I so would I. They can't do that. There are some any hero that has to get ags shard. It's like what Marco's saying. Any hero that has to get ags. Whether it's a shard or a scepter, I feel like it's. I don't like that. So, for example, yeah. kind of bad design, or like not bad design, but it um you don't like the limit the play pattern or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, it just makes the hero gimmicky because it it's this weird part of the hero that's not even part of its kit that's making it good. It's like this random fourteen one fourteen hundred gold item that doesn't give stats or anything. It's just but it gives I, well, this weird what... OP thing. That's what I was going to say. Is I used to think they were balanced because they were four, or fourteen hundred gold. They're pretty expensive, and they give no stats. Like I thought that was the mm-hmm. balance to them. Is like you're, you're kind of making a pretty big investment, and you're not power spiking your tank ability. Mm-hmm. You can be kind of greedy in a way, but now I don't know if they were all so tuned at the beginning. But now it seems like some of them are really strong like really yeah. strong like probably worth more than 1400 gold of an effect if you did a yes. spectrum of them like some of them are probably like 3k worth of utility at 20 minutes and some of them are like just ob- objectively terrible and like yeah. useless and you should never even buy it like it if you had a team of 
you know, the other four bought shards already and you drop it at the roast, that's when you pick it up at no other time. So Yeah. Yeah, because like you mentioned with Quap, her shards the snow or the power spike, that exponential power when you're say level twenty five or level twenty with Kaya, Sanj and all these items, the shard value is whoa phenomenal. But then yeah, you contrast it to someone else gets a shard and it's like zero value CM gets a shard or something and it's just complete dead weight gold. So for some heroes like well, yeah, you don't it, like it's to way more move than, it's way more than old. one. Uh, with eighty percent move slow. CM pause one alright, we'll do that next time. But yeah, one point four K gold for some of them is just a joke because yeah. it's worth actually like five K value. And if there aren't many items or ways you can spend gold which are that uh, exponentially value town. Mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah, definitely. Like and the KB that... is nearly five K justified. Yeah. And also the fact that because they give no stats or anything, they're purely dependent on like balance because you're not getting... All the heroes are getting something completely different. Mm, it's not like yeah. they're all getting health, some health mana and some stats like you do with the Scepter. It's just all completely different. So yeah, it's kind of wild. I think just yeah, some of it... Yeah. Like, uh, let's see. I'm a, So I'm even a fan of the Enchantress one, right? Because you just get to have your, your Wisps going. And it's really cute and fun. Like it's it's a noticeable amount of heal, but like it it's not you know it doesn't break anything. And you really kind of have to have holy locket to make it noticeable. You cannot tell me that's the same as Quops or Shadow Shaman all of a sudden becoming Lane Pusher Extraordinaire. I get to make Snake Wards all over the place or AA throwing down these Giga Slow Damage Spell Amp puddles every two seconds all over the the map that provide vision yeah. that no one can move during like yeah they're yeah I mean it's I unbelievable know. comparing they some need to like, like buff Pug- the bad ones yeah like Pugner I just want I can't think of all of them but like I know Pugner as a hero I play his, his shard is so bad every 1.5 seconds of channel another secondary life drain is created on a random enemy or like yeah. Skyrafts, where whenever you cast a spell, you gain one armor for 35 seconds or something. Some armor is spent. You know what, like, uh, what? Which one? So like this is like a middle-of-the-road one. Like I think it's well-balanced. It's fun. But like you don't get it every time. It's like Witch Doctor, Voodoo Switcheroo. That's, I think that's right there in the middle. I think it's a good test love, of like what yeah. one should be. I love like sometimes, so fun. sometimes it's like I'm not going to be able to channel my ult. Uh, so and you can do dodge stuff. It's like if I'm going to get gone on, I can go in the voodoo thing and get like an extra two seconds of uh, kiting out of this thing, and it and then makes it worth it. But yeah. do you get it every time? No. I think for me, another good one would be jugs. So you know, juggernauts increases his move speed on blade fury and attacks a random nearby enemy unit once dealing 75% damage because it doesn't actually give him something new that fundamentally changes what the hero does you're still spinning it's mm. just better and it means mm. that you can now do it now sort of opens the door for some funky other ways of playing jug like spin with Rady or whatever like some magic damage but it doesn't I think that one's a little more core than the, the hero. than the witch doctor one you think so i don't i, I think mean, it's Jug's a little bit, of... it's better i think yeah, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I underrate it a bit, but like Meepo's one is so bad. Um, the dig? No, the dig's the scepter. To, oh. So the the other one is you probably don't even know what it is. So divided we stand, the ult can be cast as long as there's a Meepo within three hundred radius of yourself, causes that Meepo to fling you towards the target within a nine hundred AOE, dealing a hundred damage and slowing their movement by fifty percent. And it's got a one a hundred mana and some cooldown. It's the it's actually so trash. Or so what is it? Like a you throw it? Like a blink, mini blink? or Kind of, yeah. You like chuck a Meepo yeah. a, somewhere. It's, but I've, ne- I've literally never seen it, so I actually can't comment on what it is because <laughs> I've never seen it. Um, or maybe like uh, Lions. Spell yeah, lions immunity during... Lions are right. Like it's... 
you don't get it every game, but some games is pretty good because you can't get, uh, you know, stunned during your channel. Other times you just get destroyed by the the uh, carry with physical damage, so it's kind of balanced. Mm-hmm. Well, again, I don't mind that much. But I don't mind that one as much because it buffs a spell. No, that's I what I'm saying. Mind... It's like in the middle of the road. Like it's balanced. It's not. Yeah. Like crazy, like Drow one is like re- like core. You have to get it every single game on Drow, mm-hmm. the hyperthermia shard because it's insane wave clear and slow and damage and everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, two. Well, there's so, actually now that I'm thinking about, it, there's so many shards that trigger trigger me. But I think Marco will agree on this one that the Pangolier shard is kind of nutty as well. The roll up. Uh where mm. you just you you're using your ult you roll up t- do a 180 degree turn and then roll back into the target again is then yeah, it doesn't even make sense from a physics standpoint <laughs> and the fact yeah. that you move if you get hit or something it's so weird it's such a bizarre i kind of like it just because it's so weird but i don't think yeah. it's that good i mean well it, you say not that good but it, no no sorry it, i don't think it's that good balance wise it's not it's insane like yeah. every every pango gets it the amount I, <sighs> I don't know what the the maths is, but a pango with that shard and a yours and the duration they can stun lock a hero seems a bit too much. As a pango hater, yeah. a bit too much. I I appreciate there's a high skill cap because it's hella hard to master that pango ten second stun lock combo and whatnot. But it seems too good. Yes. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it's balanced because it is so difficult to do. Pango is such a such a painful hero. Mm, it's, I quite like it. I think it is quite cool. It, it is just I'm getting biased by how triggering I it can be. Okay, here is a one that busts a spell, which is stands threshold. But do you think it's too good as Pudge Shard? It doesn't. Oh. It, it, it changes it's on the a spell, spell. Though. it's on a spell <laughs> it changes the hero though it fundamentally yeah, changes it, the hero yeah i know but it's on a, it's on a dismember so yeah, it's on it a dismember, is basically sure. a new spell i feel it's not like a blade fury where you've buffed the mechanic of blade fury it is a new spell and also Quops is Quops is technically a buff to a blink but it fundamentally is changing what it does because it's give, giving a silence yeah, I think I, it's too good. I'm just I, yeah. arguing for... You want it's really just the basically. tuning. <laughs> the tuning yeah. is on a lot of these. Is I mean, or Ricky Shard. I mean, that is... It's unbelievable not, how good that is. It's like the hero is a right-click carry. Why is he shooting a blow dart that stops people in their tracks for, you know, yeah, like, five seconds? It's like better than a It's hex. a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's actually nutty. But another one that technically buffs the spell, but I actually think is too good because it sort of fundamentally changes the spell is Ursa getting in rage on Earthshock or on whatever it's called, the jump. Because yes, it's buffing a spell, but it's fundamentally changing what the spell does. The spell is now makes you ultra tanky and is it literally that good though? I, I, I think. Yeah, I, think I don't it's think so it's good. It's good, but. How long does it last? Let's just check. Because they are 1.5, right? Yeah, 1.5 seconds in rage buff, and you've got a... What's the CD on this spell? 8 seconds. Mm, it's quite a lot of uptime. Mm-hmm. I think it's the, pretty the good. With, I mean, there's a the big time... Us, like, it was what, built around the second Roche. Like, you wanted to get the second Roche, and then you power spike like crazy. Yeah, that used to be a mental mm-hmm. The thing with Ursa is that you're so reliant on timings that... It's hard to justify spending 1.4k gold in a shard, even if it's insanely strong. Because yeah. your Ursa loves items so much, even more than other carries. So finding 1.4k is actually really hard. Um, I mean, LC is another insane one. Earthshakers is kind of weird and good. That used to be very um, good. Then they, that they used did to be give it better, a big yeah. nerf. Yeah. I mean, the the one that comes to mind in terms of changes is obviously Magnus. Um because of the horn toss <laughs> that we saw at TIR. Yeah. Um, it's been a nice, you know, how long has it been? Four months? Five months without that in the game? 
Mm-hmm. It's still good, the current one. It's just not... Broken. Completely broken, yeah. Um, another shard that I approve of on the on the approved shard list is uh, Ember Spirit. Because it it just may it doesn't fundamentally change his remnants. And it's not something abusive. It's just something that's quite nice and worth considering when you build Ember in certain ways, i.e. when you build in magic, which is why everyone builds them now anyway, but I, I like the the Ember Shard. I think it's the right level of balance. It's probably on the lower end of the spectrum if you ranked them, but if you're mm. if you're a good Ember player, a lot of Embers will buy it almost every game because they feel like they can get value from it. Yeah, I th- yeah, maybe they'll make Ag Shard more. Uh, no, I, think if... I was gonna say make it more expensive because then in say an Ember case, I feel like it would be balanced if it was a touch more expensive because late game. It is re- it is still really value. It's not broken like the quad, but the fact that you get a, a fire remnant charge, someone dies, like well, that's, that is a lot of value for Ember. But then, if you make it more expensive, you're shafting big time all those supports, supports, and pos three heroes that. You yeah, struggle. it's tough. So, yeah, but the Ember one, I know you mean it. It's it is okay in terms of not too good, but late game is really good. It's so hard with Ags with a item that's relatively cheap for any core that goes late and has therefore is way more gold. Ah, it's weird because it say when you play support supports they get these items which are low cost and mega high impact like a four staff or a glimmer go scepter the low cost mega value mega high impact because the built design for supports and then you get these shards which are kind of of the same vein price wise but then it's cores that the 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 shards themselves aren't good enough value like a go scepter is Mm -hmm. but then in terms of if you're like a support that's buying it but then it's a core that's going to have the surplus goal to get it and then you get these synergies and exponential effects when you have these shards late game because these this like new mechanic is just kind of like exponentially better later in the game than earlier in the game. So then, I don't know. It's just a weird one to balance, and I've, yeah. I expect in the patch there is going to be a shit ton of change log for to all these shards to every single shard in the game, which is going to be grim. Yeah. But I expect that has to. It's happen. going to take a long time to remember. Yeah, you're going to hover over a hero in the pick, like after the picks have happened and it's going to have a paragraph. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's got that God. little like question mark or info marker and you hover over and it's like, <laughs> here's all the changes that happen. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I almost feel like that's the way Valve wants to balance Dota now. It's just balance it through shards. <laughs> shards and fragments and stuff. Uh, one, uh, just, we're going to be here all day if I keep remembering how annoying certain shards are, but I think we can all agree that Leshrax is unbelievably annoying like sieging high ground with a less shard just endless stuns yeah is it actually good oh it's insane it's, it, no no it's like good. no it's not insane boy. it is it's, solely it's... good because it is annoying and doesn't allow people to push does it do you ever get a combo where somebody gets done more than twice no because yeah. it lasts so long in between which is what makes it so annoying because you can't siege because it lasts so long in between. So it's solely only good for like space denial. It doesn't actually net you any damage. It's pretty funny from that standpoint. Yeah. So to re- yeah, I guess I wouldn't say it's insane. It's re- it's insanely annoying, and it it's better the longer the game goes. Basically. Yeah, I mean, I think it should be changed because I don't think that is a good like if you. 